Welcome to Archetypal Atrocities, the show where we play bottom of the barrel Yu-Gi-Oh archetypes. Each week, Jules and myself will spin a wheel to determine what archetype we will be playing for that week. In addition, we will open three specially curated packs and pick a card from each of those packs to use in the deck for that week. We are allowed to play staples, but only if they support the archetype we get, and we can only play one copy of them in our decks. The winner of each week will get an extra pack they open for the next episode, while the loser will get to spin a loser wheel with multiple results on it, such as choosing your opponent's deck or moving an archetype from your wheel. The loser will also be able to play two copies of a staple as opposed to just one. Now that that's out of the way, let's dig into some trash. Alright, well we lost last week, Gimmick Puppets did not do it for us. Unfortunately, VGM was just too good at shutting down the fun alternate win conditions. Honestly, I feel like I probably could have played it a lot better, but I just really wanted to win. This series is jank as hell, so I wanted to win with some jank. Unfortunately, VGM just kind of shut it down pretty hard. Probably could have played a little bit better, but I did, we did what we did, but not because of that. We are at the loser wheel, so let's go ahead and give it a spin to see where we're winding up with this week as far as what our reward is for losing. I say reward. And okay, we're picking an opponent's archetype. So we've gone this before. I don't know what we're going to do yet. I want to see what we spend before picking Jules' archetype, so let's find out. So with choosing Jules' archetype for this week, let's see what we're winding up with playing. And we'll kind of see, we'll kind of keep it interesting. And it looks like we're playing, oh my good lord, this might be the worst archetype we could have gotten. Uh, <laughs> oh no. What do we even give her? Uh-oh. To be perfectly honest, I have not only not read a single Shino Bird card before doing this, I've never ritual summoned before. I genuinely just never even gave the mechanic time of day even in like kindergarten years like you know there was like what zara the mant or whatever it was never touched it no bls unless it was a chaos monster you know the deal so lots of firsts today and hopefully the first pack will be pretty good and you know what yeah i'm not sure if it's the trade-in or the nightmare phoenix because both seem pretty good uh Trade-in in particular seems pretty decent because I think they have some pretty high-level monsters. I actually, I just am kind of assuming they do. Again, I haven't read their cards yet, but I'm probably going to go with Trade-in if they have high-level monsters just to help unbrick hands. But if not, there is Nightmare Phoenix or Fairy Box, which is also pretty good. So, you know, definitely a strong pack here. Oh, hi, Ash. Um, well, like, I think it's just, like, is taking a one of Ash Blossom worth it? I think it's funny. Like, if it comes up, it's, like, backbreaking and amazing. It's that or Moon Mirror Shield, probably, so I probably will take the Ash. Uh, pack three, since I did win last week, I do get a fourth pack, so... Uh, oh, hey, well, I can get Phoenix and Fairy Box and something. Okay, so basically this pack um, has good repeats in it. I can get absolutely get everything I want from pack one, basically, which is nice. I'll maybe not get Fairy Box or maybe not get something else. But overall, I feel like we're getting most things wanted out of that first pack, which is the best pack so far, so that's pretty good. And the last one, uh, yeah, I mean, it's something all right like duality is a thing but we're also trying to special summon in this deck so we'll see <laughs> all right so now we're opening up our packs hopefully we get some good stuff moon mirror seal sakuvetsu is also good these are actually such good cards this is awkward uh well we lost last week so we get two copies of it which is nice moon mirror seal is actually very useful because we're playing a battle archetype but Chaka Retroam is really good. Smashing Ground's also not bad. This is a very tricky one, but we'll figure it out. On to our second pack we'll be getting. Triple Tack is okay. Trade-in is awful. Nightbeam could be fine. Vengeful Blog Spirit maybe. Enemy Control honestly might be the play. Even maybe Sphere Karibo. Pretty weak pack, all things considered. But we'll try and make it work. Alright, and on to our last pack. Looks like we are getting Raigeki Break is pretty good. Hollow Life Barrier actually could be the play. Because this helps kind of protect us a little bit. Exile Forest Draw Greed. Pretty mostly, kind of a weird opening. Our first pack was really good. The second two were less good. 
But KK Biggs, okay, but we do have to do like a one for one trade. I don't know, it's gonna be weird. We'll figure it out. I'll show you in the deck when we figure it out. Well, I am quite confident in the fact that my first outing with Rituals will probably be a loss, but I've made peace with it. Now, the Shino Birds were actually so lacking in cards that they could not put together a playable 40 playing pure. Uh, as such, we both agreed on letting me splash in a little engine. Uh, obviously, with rituals, like the obvious pick is to splash in like the incantation stuff. But that's good. That's a bit too generic. So instead, I'm allowed to play the Sonic Bird engine, which is just Sonic Bird, Sonic Chick, uh, Transonic Bird and Sonic Tracker, which isn't a lot, and it's not very powerful, but <laughs> it's taking up over a fourth of our deck because we don't have anything else to really play. Um, our one ofs are doing the best they can to glue this deck together. I decided to forego the uh, Nightmare Phoenix because. You, you're not allowed to special summon these fuckers. So, like, me having two birds on board probably isn't all that realistic. So I actually just went with the double fairy box instead because this deck is trying to be slower because God knows it's not a fast one. So, you know, the idea is to survive, hopefully get to one of our Shino Barons, and yeah, that's about it. We're praying for the best. Well... Here is the deck. Uh, I'm not going to waste very much time. They all have effects that if they deal battle damage, most of them are like mill or they'll bounce a card back. Maybe destroy a card. Uh, sometimes they'll be like, oh, you can search like Mine. But realistically, it's going to be very rare. The effects are very irrelevant. They're not going to do much. Dark Scorpion Burglars is really only here since we know we put jewels on Sino Bird. It can maybe get rid of her ritual spells that's basically the only thing that's in the deck and also just to fill up space because dog scorpion this is the main lineup uh for the pack coach played econ because we can kind of hopefully beat over some stuff or even use some of these guys as fodder to steal one of jewels is actually good monsters uh, dog scorpions if we go dong zalu we can pretty much just put someone as many dog scorpions from our hand onto the field uh it's very bad because you need to have all dog scorpions on in your hand otherwise like they don't summon from anywhere else so it's very bad to keep things a little fair i'm not playing reinforcement of the army but we're playing reinforcement of the army's troops which when an attack is declared involving one of our warrior monsters we can spell someone level four a level warrior monster for our hand very silly card but I mean, it's fun Warrior we're turning alive recurs in if we ever for some godforsaken reason want to bring back a dog scorpion battle god howling pretty much just a way to negate an attack and bounce code it's a very weird specific warrior support code dog scorpion combination so it only works if we have all the dog scorpions out on the field as well as don zalug and it's pretty much they can all deal battle damage directly but the only damage they do is 400 because just the fact you'd be able to get all dog scorpions would be too good desperate tags so out the wheel of sealed another uh pretty much it's kind of generic warrior support if a face up attack was a monster sword by battle we can reduce the battle damage to zero and spell summon a level four lower warrior monster from our hand after the damage step. Pretty much a way to get monsters onto the field. Expendable die, pretty much you can tribute a warrior to pop a card on the field and draw a card. So it's a draw power and removal. Honestly, the most the Dark Zopian monster will probably do. Uh, Hollow Life Barrier, this also prevents our monsters from being destroyed, which is the main reason we're playing it. It does require the discard, but we have to kind of live with it, so it's the dual links. Three Needle Walls, so you might be wondering why I'm playing three. We have the rule where if there's a archetype featured in an art, we can run it. So that's why we can play Needle Wall. We're only playing one Trap Dust suit though, because I'm running three of a band card. Seems a little too busted, so I, I wanted to kind of keep it in theme. That's why I'm only playing one. And two Sakurachi Armor from our pack cards. And we have two Hero Rings. Uh, I, I don't know. It's in the side in case you want to take anything out, I guess. <laughs> Realistically, I'm probably not going to have a side of the end, but that's the deck. Don't waste too much time because it's trash, so let's go ahead and see if we can even win with it. And here we are, episode 15, and uh, this this is going to be a week, most certainly. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I've ever been less confident in a deck, and I once you see what I'm playing, I, I'm sure you can tell why. Uh... <laughs> and uh, as the people who have already watched the earlier part of the video know uh and you also know because i told you before we started recording 
I have never used the summoning mechanic once in my life before, and even though I don't have much experience, I can tell they're not very good at doing it regardless. <laughs> <laughs> So we'll see what happens when I chose my archetype. I was like, this is the only archetype that might have a slim chance of winning because <laughs> it's solely because of spirit monsters. So we'll see what happens. So before we get into that, of course, uh, I have to win rock, paper, scissors. Oh, yeah. Got too cocky. <laughs> uh, like, I have to go second, I think, maybe. Like... Definitely the right play. Oh, oh hey, that's fun. <laughs> oh god uh i'll set two cards uh and i will put my phone not on vibrate so it doesn't... <laughs> oh i should mute mine actually good call <laughs> you don't want to hear my accordion ringtone go off <laughs> we'll just set a card and kind of keep ball playing a secret for probably one whole turn <laughs> and hope for the best Oh, right. Um, God, this card is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, it's it, it's what I've got a normal summon, I think. Uh, <laughs> oh, boy. Let me just make sure I'm not doing this completely wrong. Oh, that doesn't even work. God, oh, no. that's terrible. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I'm glad I, I'm glad I looked that up. I almost did something really bad. <laughs> Oh, wow, that's... <laughs> <laughs> I will activate Shinobird Power Spot. Seems good. I suppose. <laughs> as good as Shinobird can be, I suppose. And I will Normal Summon, because you sure can't Special Summon it, Shinobird Pigeon. Yeah. Um, once per turn, I can target another spirit monster and return it to the hand. If you know, I didn't want to wait for their downside, I can just get it out of the way. <laughs> just rip the band aid off, and that's his only effect <laughs> besides bouncing himself back, obviously. Uh, what? but he is a f he is a 15, so I will at least attack into your face down. Do I do what I'm thinking about doing? I think I do actually. I'm gonna enemy control it at, to make put it to defense. Oh, okay. <laughs> I I pigeon too good. <laughs> I can't have this code dying on me. <laughs> Damn, I'm I'm torn because I, if I do what I want to do, I can try and kill that because it seems like you really want it. <laughs> but if I do that. I'm t I'm getting rid of uh, my Chino bird, and I won't get power spot to proc. <laughs> I thought Pigeon at first could at least proc it itself, but then I read it's another spirit monster. Yeah. It can't be that. It can't be too good. <laughs> Maybe I should be aggressive here, but I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to go to main two and then go to end phase. Back to hand, which triggers power spot. Yep. I will grab Shino Bird Calling to hand. All right, makes sense. And hope you can't <clears throat> kill me. <laughs> you, have, you do not have to worry about that by any means. <laughs> uh, so the reason I wanted this. Uh huh. Well, this will certainly be what I'm playing. I'm going to tribute the Dog Scorpion Burglars. For Gorg the Strong. Uh. Now you might want. Now you probably know why I wanted you on Spirit. You know what? That that makes perfect sense. Actually. <laughs> I was like, this is the uh, only way I'm ever gonna do combat damage. It's uh, so funny because like I was considering the next time I got to pick my own deck, picking Dark Scorpions if I was, if I was on a win streak <laughs> before that. <laughs> <laughs> well. I was thinking about it, but now you've. You pulled that band-aid off for me. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to worry about running these fucking these this deck. But you do have to worry about getting eighteen hundred to the dome. I sure do. And you mill one whole card. I will mill one. Oh. There goes my sonic tracker. You hit a ritual, I can't be mad about that. I wish it was one without a graveyard effect. I don't know if it's good, but <laughs> 
Okay, so I will activate Shino Bird's Calling. All right. I will tribute uh, the Shino Baron in hand, so he goes to the graveyard okay. to summon out the Peacock. The Baroness, and then I will shuffle back your back row. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I realize this card is really bad. I don't know why I'm I, I realizing I should not be playing that card <laughs> I am playing. <laughs> Me with the card I had to look up and realize, oh no, my it, my my one target doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> like it, it kind of, like it quote unquote works and that I can grab it, but the target's effect will not work. Mm. So <laughs> uh and then I get to summon a special summon a level four lower spirit from the deck ignoring its summoning conditions because all of them say they can't be special summoned. <laughs> <laughs> I love when they slap ignoring the summoning conditions. They just decided to make them unable to be special. <laughs> what a like a weird like restriction of a spirit like as if they were um, good to begin with. I will special summon Crane. Okay. And then I will normal summon Pigeon and draw a card. Ooh. Well, actually, wait, oh, damn. I mean, that's still probably fine, though. Uh, I will activate Sonic Tracker. Okay. I will tribute the Pigeon to summon out transonic bird okay i actually didn't know this card existed it was in that list you sent me for since we have to find like a filler engine this yeah. was the uh the sonic package the little <laughs> sonic bird package i can know like I, the the like the chick i didn't know that was like one that's like just a, ro a literal robot bird <laughs> Its effect is good. Uh, I can't activate it, though, because I don't have the required card in hand. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, so I guess battle phase, I will attack... Seven. I don't know why the math was so hard for me. <laughs> and then 15 from Crane. To the dome it goes. Main two, I will set a card. And then end phase... <laughs> Back to hand, everybody. Well, I mean, <laughs> actually, Transonic Bird can stay, but... <laughs> yeah, Robot Birds are stronger than Spirit Birds, as it turns out. And then Power Spot triggers, and I will grab... Uh, da, 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 da. Where is it? Another Calling. Yep. And... Pass! Alright, uh, stand by main. Surely I can out a 2400 body. <laughs> If I had enemy control, I actually could. That's the sad part. <laughs> uh, I think you get two tokens, too, for the ritual going back to hand. Oh, right. I do get the two tokens. The card isn't completely the worst. Uh, I'll make those in defense. Uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Christopher Walken and Scoop. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <Ooh. laughs> that would have been as I expected, too. The card you shuffled back was Needlewall, which I realize is really bad to run because you're only on spirits. I make you go first because you're on spirits. So that seems like a good idea. Yeah, can't can't argue that. Because I I just straight up need. To be well, unhappy. hey, this is this is the only going first hand I think this deck can function like can make, and that I opened the two cards that like yeah going first sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Um. I will start with normal summon the what I thought was my swallow's nest target, but then I realized its ability does not work on special summon. <laughs> Sonic bird. There it <laughs> is. <laughs> yeah, it's on normal or flip. <laughs> <laughs> I will add Shino bird calling to hand. All right, seems good. And then I will activate Pot of Duality. Also seems good. Because I can't special summon anyways. <laughs> uh, so we will just mill the top three for simplicity's sake. I was kind—I of, was hoping for the third one. <laughs> that would have been very funny. <laughs> All right, so I get to add one to hand, shuffle the rest back. 
Well, you just got a calling, but having more of those is good. I'll take the peacock, I think. And that is legally all I can do. <laughs> all right. Uh, at least, um, uh, that certainly won't unlock my hand. I'm missing about three of the cards required to make this work. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, Oh wait, duality is not a continuous. Get out of here. <laughs> I will do a double set into normal summon burglars. Mm -hmm. And I will pass. Alright. Why is that a once per turn? Why why like why do you have to limit me? This is a, <laughs> the fact that I'm doing it more than once per turn is a freakish anomaly. Like <laughs> I should be rewarded for this. What the hell? <laughs> I'm gonna normal summon crane, which I should be able to draw if I can get more spirit monsters out in this deck. Come on. Why is it only a once per turn? I mean if if you can cast that... it twice, it's only soft. You can somehow pull the amazing feat of recasting it. Uh, and then I'm going to activate Shino Bird Calling. In response, I'm going to activate Expendable Die to tribute a warrior monster and then target a card on the field and destroy it. And if I do draw a card, uh, so I'll destroy the Dark Scorpion and pop the Sonic Hood. Fair enough. And just hope you don't have a level 4 in your hand. I sadly have for you a, another peacock in hand. Oh, that's even better. <laughs> that's what looks so really exciting. Bounce the uh, back row. Uh, it gets bounced, the it's shuffled, right? Or is it back yeah, row? shuffle, yeah. Shuffle. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's shuffle. Uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, and yeah. then I will draw off Crane and then special summon off Baroness, so... Did I normal summon? Yeah, I did. The crane was yeah. normal summon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that, the like crane was not here last turn. The street tree was coming down my thing right now. It's very loud. <laughs> Jeez. I got to kind of uh, jump scared by it. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Accurate for what is happening to my face right now. <laughs> I mean, if it's any consolation... This is this isn't a board because I go to end phase and then it all <laughs> goes away. I'll get two tokens, but I'm not grave. No, come back. <laughs> <laughs> Funny enough, it's probably better in the grave. <laughs> it might be there soon. I think I have to discard the hand size. No, I, I only have six. So, but yeah. They're 1,500 each, the attack, the attack defense, right? Yeah. Well, that's a problem, because the only th uh, Scorpion with more than that is a Tribute Summon. Uh, <coughs> summon Don Zalug again. And I will set two, and I will pass. Uh... <laughs> uh... I think the right play is, but then move the tokens to attack. So in response, I will activate <laughs> Battle Guard Howling. Since a warrior monster uh -oh. was targeted, I can target your creature, and you get burned for its original attack, and it goes back to hand. I'm not punished. I knew setting was the right play. <laughs> <laughs> You are deleting a token forever and burning it for 15, but I'll take it. <laughs> Alright, we'll get in somewhere. And then just remove the buff. And then this is gone. And then the uh, second token will. And this dies. kind of realized after playing I probably should have just set it, but... We yeah, are where we are. <laughs> Donzalug would never hide in... Face down defense <laughs> position. True. <laughs> Stand by main. Uh, yep, so is a draw. <laughs> okay, that's a card. Not what I would... Actually, uh, no. Well, it's still something. 
I will flip up Chino Bird Crane. Sure. I will normal summon Chino Bird Crane. <laughs> yep. Dr- draw off the first crane. Okay. Oh, hey, awesome. Uh, the token... Tokens technically have names, right? I believe so. I think... I'm just making sure I can activate Wing Recriddle here. I, I feel like I... Because, yeah. I'm pretty but... sure the tokens do have names. I, I want to say yeah. do. I, I can't imagine I can't activate it here, but I just know Yu-Gi-Oh is so dumb that I want to <laughs> cover my bases. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure the tokens have, like, like names to the tokens, even like they're representative yeah. of one thing. So yeah, like... I would assume mm. it's you can activate it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Obviously, so I don't want you to, draw... but... <laughs> Uh, really? What is up with my... I have been drawing... I'm literally looking at three pairs in my hand right now. Like, I've just drawn runner, 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 runner on some of these. It's really weird. <laughs> Suppose I'll activate Sonic Tracker. Uh, okay. I will tribute the pigeon in hand. Oh, wait, no, fuck. I don't have the... Right, ritual monsters are dumb. I have to have ritual monster in hand. Never mind, ignore me. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> this is nice <laughs> Yeah, it's like, right, right. This is part of the bad summoning mechanic I don't use. <laughs> <laughs> in that case, uh... Activate power spot. Yep. Activate power spot. Yeah. Although I can't use the search effect more than once per turn, so it's just the extra boost. <laughs> That's... That's... Yeah. Wing Recriddle drew two power spots, so it's just telling me to beat face, so I'll beat face. Well, it's just a good thing you drew it, because otherwise this would not have died. <laughs> that is very funny. Actually, wait, no. Uh... Technically, because this is... The token's not a spirit, so that doesn't get the boost. Oh, right. That's funny. So, yeah, that you, that you that's true. So I'll take three. <laughs> and since you took, it's an, I think since it inflicted battle damage, I think that's how it works. I got to activate one of her effects. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, I don't know how useful it will be, but... Uh, uh, you can add back the Don Zalug. <laughs> sad part of it, that's just something I just might have to do. Wait, oh my god. I'm I'm looking at Baron and Baroness back to back in hand and like it's like a bad flip book. Like their their background art is the same but it's slightly shifted to the left and they change the feather colors. <laughs> it's surreal. That's funny. Oh, wait, Dong Zoo's on Dog Scorpion. I can't do that. Oh no. <laughs> no. I forgot he's not technically one. Why? <laughs> uh shit. Uh. Uh. I had the one that got banned for like a day. Yeah, chick the yellow, the the broken one. <laughs> He's got the the trans boy posture. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I will attack with a twenty five. Uh, yeah. yeah, and then kill you. <laughs> like I, you have to have all five uh, of them on the field to do anything and it's yeah just like, that oh, yeah, you can do 400 like, damage <laughs> like look at them like mouse back and forth between the two of them it's weird oh my god that, they just they just changed the feather colors <laughs> yeah <laughs> what a game that's a uh... About how I expected to go. Well, I'm frankly even worse than I expected it to go because it's just like, <laughs> what are you gonna? Like, I was like <laughs> the bottom of the barrel. I had a Sakuretsu on. I never acted you. I got from the packs. I know what's so funny to me. Your hmm. deck hard counter Sonic Chick. <laughs> was it action? All of your things oh. are so small <laughs> they can actually kill it. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> Like, your tribute monster can kill it, because he's an 18. <laughs> you definitely, I think, picked the right deck, but I happened to get lucky with my with my opens and yeah. managed to survive. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see what kind of matchup we get next week when we return. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you then. Have a good one.